Hi guys, Omar here with Overlanding Just Cause and this video is about my Defender Dismember, the Jeep Commander. Crushed it. In this video, I want to talk about my wife and I's experience over at Overlanding Expo East, uh, October 8th, 9th, and 10th. It was a good experience. We both learned a lot. We would do it again in a heartbeat. It was such a good time. But in this video, I'm not going to show you the vendors and all the cool merchandise and gadgets they had out there. I want to show you my experience and what we uh, kind of got from it. Um, so it's all classes and, you know, things like that. So come on, let's watch. So starting off, you roll up to this huge estate, Oak Ridge Estate in Arrington or Arrington, however you say it. Sorry, guys, from Arrington or Arrington. Anyway, it's a big grassy area and you pull up, you have people t directing you where to go. But you show up to this red tent and you get out and you get your packet and they tell you the do's and don'ts. And from there, they tell you the section that you can camp out, depending on what kind of ticket you got. So we got the experience package. So we go to the experience area and we ended up meeting some people at this red tent that owned a 95 Defender. Now, we saw them and we decided to make ourselves their neighbor and park right next to them. So... They became good friends. Uh, their Defender was super cool. They were way cooler. And yeah, just had a good time with them uh, over the weekend. Now, once we set up shop, we got back in the Jeep and headed over to our first class, which was marshalling. Now, marshalling is like spotting and uh, directing someone where to go on the trail. My wife was my spotter and she was all over the place which was okay because the instructor was right there and pretty much you know giving her a play-by-play -play of what she's supposed to do so the spotter is the eyes of the driver and the driver is the operator one thing i got from that class is that i'm not a very good listener to my wife after the marching class we went back parked parked the car and just set up shop we got everything out, uh, made lunch, and just hung out for a little bit before we went to the actual expo and checked out what was on display. Now, there was a lot of stuff on display. Thankfully, I left my wallet so that I couldn't spend any money. But it was really nice looking at the cool stuff, and you know, I definitely set up a dream list. After walking around, we went back to camp, we had dinner, and then later on that night, we there was a raffle. Uh, we ended up winning a flask. Yeah, that was cool. You see my beautiful wife there, she's excited. After the raffle, we stayed back for a overlanding movie about a couple that uh, go across the country on their motorcycle. And yeah, that was cool to watch. That next morning was a Bronco ride. Now, the way it's set up, you have to sign up first, you show up, you meet your instructor, which in our case was a driver named Yolo, shout out to Yolo, and she got us in this yellow Bronco, which I believe was the Badlands package, and took us off on this trail and showed us what this Bronco can do. My wife and I were both very impressed with the capabilities and it was a lot of fun. Now, my wife has a Bronco on order. I believe she's supposed to get it in like six years. I'm just kidding. I don't know when she's gonna get it. After the Bronco ride was the trail course. And this is a driving course. I pull up, instructor's right there next to me and we go over elephant's feet. We go over humps and rocks. Um, you go over a hill, use the hill descent, and yeah, the instructor's right there next to you the whole time, um, stopping you in certain obstacles uh, and showing you what the vehicle's doing, what the tires are doing. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. I definitely learned a lot. Uh, his big thing, the instructor, Pete, his big thing was left foot braking, which I had no clue 
how to do. So yeah, it was a very good experience and definitely learned a lot. After the trail course, we went back to camp, parked the vehicle and walked back to the track where we had another class on winchless recovery. Now this is a think outside the box. If you got stuck and you didn't have a winch, how would you get your vehicle out using maybe traction boards, digging up dirt, uh, placing rocks in places. Uh, it was a very interactive class. Um, you know, the students were able to um, help the instructors and just, we were just thinking outside the box, what would we do? And the whole thought process behind it was going from what it takes with the least amount of work to, you know, now I'm digging with a shovel and that's the most amount of work. Once we got done with our second class, that was it for day two. We went back to camp and we just had dinner, hung out with our cool neighbors and ended up going to bed a little early and just watching a couple shows of The Walking Dead and cuddling. Day three was really cool. It was our last day, it was Sunday. And we got up, we had breakfast and headed up to our first class, which was picking a line. The course was really cool because it was like the trail course where you had obstacle after obstacle, but the obstacles were spread out. So uh, a few instructors out there and an instructor with each obstacle and you had three or four vehicles at each obstacle and we would just do a round robin. I asked my wife if she wanted to drive. She was pretty hesitant about it, but the instructors talked her into it and yeah, she went through the course and actually did left foot braking way better than me. But um, yeah, so she had a good time. It had the hump that we got the Broncos stuck the day before. Uh, you had to go over. Now this hump, you know, it's nothing massive, but the whole point behind it was trying to keep both, or excuse me, all the wheels on the ground as you're going over. Um, if you did touch the bottom, you wanted to touch obviously where there was armor and that she did. <laughs> on the rock portion of this, I sped it up because 75 feet of, of rock, um, it did take a while. I'm the spotter, I'm telling her which way to go, uh, but I did slow this portion down. Number one, you can see my facial expression. I was a little worried uh, with her driving my car. But number two, I wanted you to see my shirt. Enjoy capitalism, America. After she got done driving, I got in the driver's seat and had fun. Just went around each of the obstacles and practiced left foot braking. Once we got done with that class, we parked it up in the parking lot of the track and we had lunch. Here I'm just walking around, just showing it off. After lunch, we had our last class of the day, which was Winching 101. Pretty much teaching you the basics of using a winch the do's and don'ts, and how not to kill yourself. There it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's just a quick glimpse of what we did overall through the weekend, and yeah. So I'm new to YouTubing, I'm new to overlanding, and one thing we got out of this weekend was at one point early on, my wife asked me, hey, if we go camping with a family, where are the kids and the dogs going to fit? Now, obviously, the kids in the back seat, but the dogs, there's no room for them. So she goes, maybe we should get a trailer. And of course I'm like, yeah. So stay tuned. I'm gonna get a trailer, I'm gonna build it up and more videos to come. So I hope you guys enjoy, till next time.